Okay, today we're going to be looking at some uh, old Nintendo games using ROMs and a program called FCEU. That's FCEU. Uh, and there's also a graphical interface for that called GFCEU, which is just a GUI interface for the command line uh, program. Uh, should be in your repositories for most distributions, uh, so just use whatever package manager you use. I use aptitude, so aptitude install FCEU, or if you do GFCEU, it will install FCEU as well. Once that's installed, you can run it to play some ROMs. A place I like to get some ROMs is a website called The Old Computer. The old computer has lots of different ROMs. Uh, it's theoldcomputer.com. And you can see I have lots of different ROMs for different uh, entertainment uh, systems. And here is the Nintendo ones. And um, they have a lot of them. I think uh, for original Nintendo, there's over 900 different ROMs they have available here. Now remember, if you're downloading ROMs, you're supposed to only download them if you actually own the game. So if you own a Nintendo, you know, and you own the game, you can download games for your computer. I also believe that uh, I was told, and don't quote me on this, that you're allowed to download ROMs to try them out, but you have to remove them from your system within 24 hours. Like I said, I don't know if that's true. That's why I've been told. But uh, that's kind of what we're going to do today automatically with a script. So first, let's create our script here. So I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, and I'll call it getnes.sh. We'll start writing our script here. We'll, so we'll start off with bin bash up here so that our, our operating system knows that this is a bash script. And then uh, we'll make a temporary folder. So we'll make dir, and we'll make a folder inside our temp folder called roms. So that's created, and then we'll change direct directories into that folder we just created. So cd forward slash temp forward slash roms. And then uh, we'll clear the screen. I always like to clear the screen, make everything fresh. We'll uh, put a message up on the screen so our user who's running a script knows what's going on. And we'll say that fceu must be installed. And it'll say to you sudo aptitude install fceu. So that will echo out on the screen and we'll make it look nice with a little line under it. Perfect. Okay. Now we need to set a variable of where the ROMs are. So we're going to grab a page from uh, the the oldcomputer.com website. Uh, so we're going to say this variable is page and we're going to say it equals HTTP forward slash forward slash www the oldcomputer.com forward slash ROMs forward slash and uh, it will be the index page. I am reading this off notes. I don't have it memorized. Uh, and then we're going to set a variable for that page, folder equals Nintendo forward slash NES forward slash USA. So it's going to look for USA games made in the US here. I'll, I'll open up this page, open up, or I copied it, open up link. And this is actually where it's going to bring us. Oops, I clicked on the picture by accident. So it brings us here which starts our list of ROMs for the US uh, original Nintendo. So that's where all the ROMs are, all listed there alphabetically. So we're setting that variable and then we're going to set our ROM variable equal to and uh, once again I always forget, I think this is the Tildale it's the thing that looks like a single quote. It's next to the one on the top row of your keyboard. And we're going to say links, which is a, I've gone over in the past, a uh, web browser for the command line. We're just going to dump the output of our page, which is set up here. And we're going to grep out any line that has the word or the tag title in it. 
And then we're going to cut out of that with a delimiter of greater than, so we'll say field two. So basically it's gonna find where the title is and it's gonna find this character and it's gonna find what's after that, which is gonna be the title of our game. And uh, we're gonna pipe that into another cut command. And we are going to say delimiter of uh, a pipe symbol and we'll say field one and we'll say uh, we'll close our tilde L there. Oh wait, you know what? I did that wrong. I'm reading the wrong line on my notes. Hopefully I'm not confusing you too much. This is all going to be in the forums. You can go there and download it. I'll mention the link again at the end there. But uh, sorry about that. We're going to dump the page and grep out any line with the word file equals in it. And then we are going to awk and we're going to print out the second thing in that line. So it's going to use a space as a delimiter basically. Then we will shuffle, which I just did a tutorial on, N1. So it's going to grab one line from that. So basically it's going to search through that page, find any files, which are the ROMs. It's going to grab the name, or the, actually the address, of that link, of that ROM file. And it's going to grab a random one out of that. So basically it's searching through all 900 and finding a random one. Next we're going to set a variable called title. And we're going to set that equal to, once again, the little tilde links. And this time we're going to look at the source of the page. Source. And we're going to look at our ROM. So it's going to go by the page that we found up here. And let me not lose my place in my notes here. Put a quote there, then we're going to pipe that into grep, and this is where we're going to grep out the title of the game. So title, and then we're going to cut with a delimiter of greater than, we'll say field 2. That will get us the title, but there'll be some stuff lagging at the end. We'll want to cut off any of the end stuff. We'll say a delimiter of pipe, and we want field 1 and then we'll use our little tilde thing. Okay, now we're gonna reset our ROM because we now have a more direct link and we're gonna say echo, sorry, we need to use the little tilde thing there. Okay, we're gonna echo our ROM variable that we have. We're going to sed through it and we're going to substitute get file with download oops and a G there okay and now we're going to echo out downloading dollar sign title so this will give output to the user of the script of what game is being downloaded and then here is where we will actually download the ROM. So dump, so we're just grabbing the file, the ROM file which is our ROM variable now and we're going to pipe that into a file which is the name of the game. So we'll say dollar sign title. Then we will start up FCEU title and then we will remove the title. So let's go over this again. We're creating a temporary directory, we're moving into that temporary directory. We're clearing the screen and displaying a message on the screen saying that you need to have FCEU installed for this to work. We're going to grab the list from the old computer.com of all the uh, old Nintendo games that, that were made in the US. And we're going to grab from that list, we're going to look for any uh, links that say file in them. We're going to shuffle them up and grab one of them. 
So we're grabbing a random game, we're grabbing the page of that random game. Then here we're going to grab the title of that game. And then we are going to now download the ROM. We get the, this is where we get the actual uh, link to the actual ROM file. We give another message saying what game we're downloading it, we download it, we play it, and then once you exit the game, it will remove it. So let's save all this. We'll make the file executable. And uh, let's see what happens here when we run this. Telling you need to solve, found a game, it's downloading it. Once it's downloaded, we got an error. I typed something wrong. I think I know what I typed wrong. I forgot to put a dollar sign at the beginning of these saying that it is a variable. Let's try it again. So it found a game, Skate or Die 2. It's downloading it. As soon as it's downloaded, there we go. We got it running. Yo, dude. Yo, dude. Okay, so at any point, I can hit escape to get out of this and it will delete that file. So basically you play the game and when you're done it removes it. And every time you run it, it should find a different game. This time it grabs Skate or Die. It's kind of random, but it is. it did grab a different game. It didn't grab the Skate or Die too, so. So I'll hit Escape. It deletes that file. We'll run it again. This time it's going to download Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Downloaded, and it's running. And there we go, Lucas Game Film Games. So there we go, I'm playing. Oh, it's Han Solo. Okay, we'll hit escape out of that. So once again, you can get this script, because I know the tutorial's kind of long and I kind of messed up at one point. But if you go to our forums, they, uh, which is filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Uh, underneath uh, the bash scripts, I have NES ROMs. We've got one here. Uh, the second one is the one that we just did, which uh, downloads a random game, plays it, and then removes it. This other script it will download every single game, all 900 games, and save them to your computer. Once again, make sure you legally have the right to download those games before you do that. And I hope you have a great day, and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials, and check out the links in the description. Have a great day!